Hey, Bennett. Guess what? TTI sent us some new products oh, wow. to take a look okay. at. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're the uh, breather company, right? The breather company, but they make a lot more than just that. Yes. So, hot off the presses here, we've got one of their hydraulic adapter kits. That's very nice. They also sent a gearbox okay. adapter kit. A little different. A little bit different, right? Yeah. And remember, these are going on fill ports of the mm -hmm. machine. So, it's basically taking a single point and mm -hmm. multiplying it to where we can add oil through a quick connect. Yeah. It obviously can still breathe. And yeah. since it is a, a fill port, we mm -hmm. do want it to breathe. So, to help with the cleanliness, mm -hmm. they send us breathers. So, you know, a, a standard power breather for okay. the hydraulic one. Okay. When we think about splash lubricated machines, they don't breathe as much. So a power breather with check valves keeps it a little That's bit sealed up. Boxes. And we've got a quick connect on the top. Mm -hmm. TTI really thinking about your lubrication program here. You're going to need another one. They sent additional yeah. quick connects for the drain okay. as well. So these are included with the, with the purchase of this. If I'm not mistaken, these are different sizes. They, which, they are. Good yeah. eyes. So yeah. the top side. Three yeah. quarter inch. Yep. Drain quick connect. One, one inch. inch. Yeah. That's great because you want the filter card to have two different sizes from their two different hoses to make sure you don't you, you don't hook it up backwards. You don't yeah. destroy the the filter card. Absolutely. That's great. So you know with this you've got the 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 quick connect to add the oil. Mm -hmm. You've also got a two inch dip tube for the gearbox oh, that's, that's uh, solution cool. here to get it down into the gearbox because you know yeah. if we use a filter card or a pump to push oil through here if we don't have that dip, uh, dip tube it goes straight to the breather it does it yeah. floods the breather yeah. out mess. now they also included a pipe union on the bottom of this that's great for horizontal modifications horizontal or even vertical yeah. depending yeah. if you want it oriented a certain way because yeah. if you're just relying on the threads to bottom up, bottom out or tighten in a certain yeah. location usually never happens yeah, right time. with the pipe union you can yeah. lock it in the position that you want yeah like you said can be uh, installed horizontally yeah. as well as vertical the biggest thing that you want to keep in mind is whenever you have the breather you want to make sure that that breather is as close to vertical as possible that's great so uh you know that's a, a gearbox let's say but you know hydraulic system like we have here with this uh you know, fill port now, these aren't that great, right? No, I mean, these are the things that they, they don't keep out moisture. Mm -hmm. They're only addressing really the big particles. It's just a can with steel wool in it. But, you know, it's our typical ANSI yeah. six-hole flange. We can simply take this off, and as you've done right it there, perfectly. it fits perfectly. Yeah. The holes line up, so it makes mounting a breeze. Now, one thing that's obviously different is that two-inch tube you have here. There you have, here you have 24 inch uh, sample tube yep. and a 12 inch fill tube. That's right. So the dip tube, a little bit longer. The sample tube, 24 inches, we know some of these hydraulic systems or even circulating systems, mm -hmm. really big reservoirs. Yeah. And those, they can have custom lengths as well. Mm -hmm. If you need to modify it, you can always cut the length down of it. Yep. You can bend it to a fluid that's, zone. That's critical because you need to be in a live active area, the oil mm -hmm. reservoir and gather a representative oil sample mm -hmm. through the valve here. You can still be using your vacuum pump to take a sample. That's right. It's all a really all-inclusive, all one-stop shop solution for this. That's right. So we're not walking around the machine yeah. to multiple points. They yeah. only have to come to a single point. You can get most of your yeah. inspections done. You can get everything that's, mm -hmm. that's finished there. Now, when it comes to inspections, we know that your breathers, as they saturate with moisture, yeah. they change color. Yeah. But sometimes in dirty environments, mm -hmm. they may get plugged with particles before they actually get saturated with moisture. That's what that's for, right? That's exactly yeah. what it's for. So both solutions have the vacuum indicator. Yeah. Yeah. So if this is plugged with particles, mm -hmm. the reservoir will have a slight vacuum. We can monitor it on this vacuum minder. So this is a 360 degree solution. It's gonna turn red, right? It's gonna show okay. red when this thing is plugged mm -hmm. up with particles. So we can simply reset it, yeah. change out the breather, and we're good Perfect. to go. And obviously with, with TTI, there is a ton of different breather options. So if you think about the hydraulic system, it may want yeah. to breathe a lot, right? Yeah, yeah we give a lot of oil going in and out. A lot of air is going to be going in and out. Mm -hmm. You might need a larger breather just to make sure you can handle all that moisture. That's right. With the threaded port, it makes it very easy to very adapt good. or size up. So you may want to move yeah. up from just the standard power breather to something like the Titan power breather. Yeah. That's great. So this one, obviously, higher desiccant capacity. Mm -hmm. You do have check valve options here. They have a very, very low cracking pressure, so we're not worried about adding static mm -hmm. pressure into the reservoir or anything okay. like that. So you can modify these and basically mix and match. We're big on the optimum reference state. Yes. Well, guess what? We can optimize the tools yeah. that we're using right here. And this is a great all-in-one contamination control solution to make sure you can 
you know, accomplish your filtration requirements, your sampling requirements, your headspace management. All at one place, yeah, that's right? That's great. That makes it so much easier. And is this uh, anodized aluminum here? It is. It's 100% okay. anodized aluminum. Uh, they're very robust with the threaded connections. Yeah. You're going to use just your typical Teflon tape yeah. or your pipe dope, pipe sealant, whatever you want to use there. Lock them down, and I mean, they are staying put. These are these are solid devices. I like, I like them a lot. So this is great for a lot of critical machines or... Uh, really anywhere that you'll need, you know, routine uh, filtration with a filter car, routine sampling, good headspace management. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. It's yeah, great. so it's not just hydraulic or gearboxes. I mean, you may think about lubricant storage tanks, oh, course, yeah. circulating systems. There's a lot of places you could use these products. Man, that's awesome. I like this. And if it doesn't have an ANSI six hole flange, yeah. TTI does have a whole range of oh, adapters good. to make it say, easy, yeah. right? So it doesn't matter. I mean, they they've got us covered. Absolutely. So for more information on these products, please just follow the link below.